In this video, we are going to convert an entire radical to a mixed radical and then work backwards converting a mixed radical back to an entire. To convert an entire radical to a mixed radical is also known as simplifying radical. Here's an example. What is the square root of 48 simple? 48 is 4 times 12 or 2 times 2 times 4 times 3. The four further factors to 2 times 2. There are four powers of 2 and one power of 3. So the square root of 48 is the square root of 2 to the 4th and 3 to the 1st. Let's go back to the basics. For To find the square root of 48, we're looking for two numbers that multiply together to give 48, and each of those numbers are the same. If we look at the prime factors of 48, there are two twos that are shared in two spots. We can put one in each. There are another two twos that we can share in the two spots. We can put one in each. But for three, it has only one. And the only way I can split that up and put them in the two spots is to call each of them the square root of three. So the square root of 48 is one of these spots, or two times two times the square root of three, or four times the square root of three. So let's go back up here and have a look. At the bottom here, we took half of the powers of the prime factors of 48. So we can write that as 2 to the 4th times 3 to the 1st, all to the 1 half power. Don't forget that the 1 half is in the power position. So we want half the powers, that means half of the 4 and half of the 1. That is 2 to the 2nd power and 3 to the half power. 2 to the 2nd is 4, and 3 to the 1 half power is the square root of 3. We get the same result using our power rules. That is, that the square root of 48 is 4 root 3 by a different method. Let's now look at how to convert mixed radicals to entire radicals. We do this quite often so that we can put numbers in order. Here I have a mixed radical 3 times the cube root of 5, and I need to convert it to an entire radical. The 3 is actually the cube root of 3 to the third power, and the cube root of 5 is written as the cube root of 5. 3 cubed is 27, and we keep it under the cube root sign. We multiply it by the cube root of 5, then we collect them both under the same cube root sign, so we get the cube root of 27 times 5. 27 times 5 is 135. In summary then, 3 times the cube root of 5 is the same as the cube root of 135. If you worked backwards and simplified the cube root of 135, you would get 3 times the cube root of 5.